He was born an Anglican, he was baptized in the Anglican Church. And, uh, but his mother took him to a Unitarian chapel in Shrewsbury, and that's where he went most of the time. Um, <coughs> Unitarians don't believe in the divinity of Christ. They only believe in the existence of God. And so uh, Darwin absorbed that idea uh, when he was young. And when you read his stuff, his, his, uh, also his, um, his private notebooks and his correspondence, which I think are more important sources for this kind of information in his public. But in his private notebooks, you do find clear indications that um, he believed in a God who was at a distance from what happens in the world, so a sort of deistic God. Mm -hmm. A God who is not involved in the nitty gritty of creating every single plant and animal precisely as it exists now in exactly the location where they exist, but a God who does that by means of natural law. The interesting thing is that there is still a clear, a different idea of design involved because God designs by means of natural law, not by means of direct involvement. Um, but that is Darwin's, that's part of Darwin's belief about God. So he, he did believe in the existence of God, but a very heterodox kind of God, I, I think you could not call that a Christian notion of God because Christian notions of God always involve Jesus Christ. Right. 